This is the super old Helinox Chair Zero that I've had for like five years. And whoa, <laughs> this is Maui. It's supposed to be a lot nicer than this. I'm with my buddy Matt, by the way. He told me it was gonna be beautiful. I wanted to sit here. We'll see. it's because you're either wondering why somebody would bring a chair backpacking or you more than likely just want to hear about a chair for backpacking but when I go backpacking with a chair it's evident why I bring a chair because after hiking 15 20 miles in a day and you are just beat exhausted it's always nice to have to place like a, an actual place to sit down other than like on a rock or a log or even like one of those z-light seats or some foam pad, which I've done and I still do when I carry more weight and I don't want to bring a chair, but man, I always end up missing the chair. And the other thing is, is that whenever I bring my chair, somebody always inevitably wants to sit in the chair that I brought because they're jealous that they didn't bring a chair. Why am I in Maui? Well, it's um, my 20th anniversary that I've been married to my wife. So we are celebrating out here and why wouldn't I make a video on my anniversary, right? That's actually technically not my anniversary. It's in another couple weeks, but worked out to come here this week and I'm meeting up with my buddy, Matt. So you, that's why Emmett isn't with me this week because I didn't want him to come with me to my anniversary. Love you, Emmett, but uh, you're not gonna be celebrating my anniversary. Anyway, Matt lives here and all of the drone shots, all of the camera work, everything that you see is Matt's and Matt has an Instagram channel uh, Instagram channel? Is it a channel? We call them channels. <laughs> what do we call them? They're Insta yeah. He's got an Instagram. He's got an IG, baby. And uh, he's also got a YouTube channel. Uh, links in the description below. Make sure you check him out because they are ridiculous reels and photos that he posts all the time of this amazing place. So um, I'm just happy that he was even willing to come out here and hang out with me today and shoot video. So thank you, Matt. <laughs> so I've had this backpacking chair, the Helinox Chair Zero, for a very long time. This is actually the third chair I've purchased. Um, I've probably had it for at least five years, maybe six. Um, the first chair I bought actually blew into a fire. <laughs> when I stood up, it just went and uh, caught on fire. It still worked, but barely. There was like a thread of materials still holding it together. I gave that to a buddy and then I bought a new one for me and then I bought another one for my wife. So three chairs. Um, and so I obviously believe in the chair quite a bit and have used it enough to know a ton about this chair and, and I'll continue using this chair until they come out with a better chair, which is probably going to be never because it's been like five years and nobody seems to be coming out with a better chair. So if you're a manufacturer out there, uh, this is your opportunity to make like a bajillion dollars. Just beat the Helinox Chair Zero. Somebody's gotta do it eventually. I get excited about the little things. I'm a Wisconsin boy. We do not have banana trees. <laughs> and this is, I, this is a banana tree. I, I get bananas from like Costco. I'm, I'm excited about a banana tree. And uh, he's like, oh, I got one in my yard. Oh, oh, oh. The coolest part too is it's a, it's a banana, it's an apple banana tree. So they're like a, a sweeter, smaller banana. Yeah, it, oh, it's super tasty. <sighs> okay, that's cool. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty cool. One of the benefits of having this chair is that it's so small, it packs in this little, this is just a 20 liter uh, backpack. It's like a camera bag, backpack. Not a backpacking backpack, but it fits perfectly inside of here. We actually took it to the beach while my wife and I were here in Maui. Uh, so being as light and compact as it is, it's really nice. It just sort of disappears almost in any pack. Uh, we brought two of them actually out here to Maui. So people asked me actually while I was on the beach how I got it here. I was like, uh, it packs up small. Kind of nice. All right, I don't do specs. The specs are terrible. I mean specs, we, we don't get along, okay? But we're gonna put the specs up on the screen right here. So now you can take a look at the specs yourself. Uh, but one spec I do know is that this chair like weighs only a pound, one pound. Uh, if you're from another country, we'll put the kilograms up on the screen for all of you lazy people that can't use Google. Just kidding, but they're right there. It's actually 0.51 kilograms. Uh, Matt's from Canada. He would know that, right, Matt? Yeah, I mean, that's how the rest of the world does it, how you're supposed to do it. Fair enough. What are we grabbing? Uh, we're grabbing some strawberry guava. Strawberry uh, guava. Okay. You want to do the honors? Yes. Okay, so you just pinch it. 
Why am I pinching it? Uh, to open it. Oh, pinch it to open it. Like yeah, literally yeah. just squeeze it till it pops? <laughs> yep. Okay. okay. Just like that. And now just suck up the juices. <laughs> okay, here. Oh, this is not like deadly poison. Not right oh away. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> And then oh, you wow. can just like spit out the seeds. I think I swallowed some. I'm gonna grow up. Can I eat the outside too? Uh, sure. <laughs> Dude, that's legit. You good? Yeah. Is it a strawberry guava? Or did I, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Future Dan here. I'm actually back from Maui. So Maui was awesome by the way. Although it is still raining here. I don't know what that's all about. But I wanted to tell you real quick, Helinox actually has a new chair out that I did order right before I left and it showed up as soon as I got back. It's the Helinox Chair Zero. This is the high back version. The only real difference is, is that it's got a, a high back and it's eight ounces heavier. So when you sit in it, it feels pretty good actually. A little bit more support on your back for eight ounces. Is it worth it? I don't know. It's up to you, I guess. I'll take it on trips maybe where the uh, hiking distance isn't that long. Maybe I'm doing some base camping and that kind of thing. Like uh, actually maybe next week, Emmett, what do you think? Next week we'll be in uh, Boulder Mountain. Maybe Let's I'll take it, it there. Let's bring it. Let's bring it. But there are some things I actually don't like about this chair. Uh, one, of the, one of the things is that the legs, the feet, seems like no matter what you're sitting on, unless it's like solid rock, the feet of the chair actually dig into the ground eventually. So um, you end up like almost feeling like your butt <laughs> hanging in the chair, like almost touching ground sometimes, especially if it's like rocky, sandy, muddy, that kind of thing. They do make a separate like attachable pad or mat. It's like a little piece of square fabric that attaches to the bottom of the chair that stops it from actually sinking into the sand or wherever you're at to, to be able to like not have that happen. But it's super expensive. It's like an extra $30 to do that. I guess another big problem with this chair is why would anybody spend $100 or more? Because the retail price on this chair is like 130 I think, if you go to their website. $130 United States dollars on a chair for backpacking. I mean, you can go on Amazon and you can find uh, chairs that um, cost maybe $20, $30, $40. So why wouldn't you just buy one of those chairs? Well, obviously the big reason is that the weight difference between the chairs. And if you're a backpacker, weight matters. Um, so if you are looking at like saving money, I would say look at Amazon and find a chair that's like two pounds or less. If you can find it, two pounds is a good price. It's gonna be bulkier, it's gonna be heavier, but you can also pull a pound of weight out of your backpack, most likely. I've got videos on how to do that. Uh, free ways to pull weight out of your backpack by maybe not bringing as much clothes or just different ways to do that where you don't have to spend an extra $100 on a chair. But if you're a backpacker that goes frequently like I do and you don't have to think about that, then this is gonna be worth it to you. It's an expensive chair, but man, one pound for a chair is pretty awesome. Now there are other brands out there like REI has a chair that uh, is in a similar weight range, which I haven't tested out a ton. I've sat in it a couple of times, it is comfortable and some people you know, love that chair as well, but there are other chairs out there that are in the same weight category, but they're also gonna be about the same price. So there's that. I think I've got just enough time to bust out the chair. There's rain coming. We are at the level of the clouds. We're like, I don't know, 30, 40,000 feet up, I think, right? 50? Probably, yeah, 50, not even close. <laughs> the winds are at least 80 miles an hour right here. I could barely hang on. I'm just trying to make it sound dramatic, Matt. Anyway, but you can <laughs> see the rain. <laughs> the rain is true. So we're gonna try to get this out as fast as humanly possible. Raining. Oh my gosh, is it ever. Talked me into this. It wasn't me. <laughs> I'm sitting on a mountain in Maui. I don't care what anybody says. So that is the Helinox Chair Zero. Now that is now that it's clearing up here, I'm gonna I'm gonna put it away. We're gonna get out of here. If you guys like this video, make sure you hit that like button, also subscribe for more, make sure you hit the bell notification so I can send you a video every time it's released. And I will see you on the next one. Thanks, man.